Hey guys, Leviathan here, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2 Walking Only. Today we're going to be doing Leon the B scenario. Uh, we last finished Claire's A scenario, and now we're doing the B scenario, which is going to be significantly harder. Uh, this is going out live to twitch.tv, so if you want to catch me doing this live, uh, links to my Twitch are below, and uh, all my other social media. Feel, feel free to follow that as well. And if you like this, uh, follow my YouTube and all the other noise. But without further ado, let's get started on this. So I do have a load file here. I am playing on an emulator, the Dolphin emulator, and I am going to be playing, uh, yeah, Leon B. So let's get started. Uh, I'm skipping all cutscenes because God knows I don't want to hear them. Um, and if you're new to this type of challenge, essentially what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be playing the entire game without running a single time. Um, it is going to prove to be exceedingly hard, especially in the B scenarios. The B scenarios are a little longer. A little harder. I'm hoping. Hey, what up? What up, Cade? Thanks for joining in, man. Uh, uh, I mean, he's gonna get me. Ah, oh, of course. Luckily for us in the B scenarios, we don't have to go through all the whole street bit. We're literally right at the police station as soon as we start. Which makes it kind of a jip for the uh, A scenario player just because I got to go through all those bells and all those hoops just to deal with that. Now I should probably be able to get around these guys really quick if I'm quick enough. Okay, there's a key here. I think that's the only thing there is. Now Leon's handgun holds um, five more shots than the normal handgun that uh, Claire gets. Claire gets only holds 13 whereas mine holds 18. So, Alright, cool. That was fair enough. So I don't know why I just didn't try to like look to see if there was a key in one of these uh, police cars and just try the GTFO. Now this will lead right around to um, where you start in Resident Evil 1. Or not Resident Evil 1, in the A scenarios. Not where you start, but an area that you're familiar with. And the item placement is also way different in this as well. I am, however, of course going to grab items because why not? Um, I might as well grab these. Just because I know I'll be saving a bit. Yeah, if I open up this door, zombies will come in. I'm um, not going to worry about it, but it is what it is. Now, another force that is to be reckoned with in these scenarios is uh, Mr. X, who will be the nemesis of this game. In the sense that he is going to be appearing in select spots. It's not ran it's not randomized. He's got select spots. I don't know why I just didn't shoot. Why I just didn't shoot him, but um yeah. Now in the B scenario, you get to see how the helicopter crashes. Basically a guy with a m assault rifle apparently couldn't take down two zombies. So what did he do? He got eaten by them and he managed to shoot down the helicopter pilot to explode it into here for us to use. Now we have to go do that anyways. We have to go grab the valve handle, which hey what up uh PTG Chris? We need to get you need to get a new controller, man. A new controller? What's wrong with my controller? I'm using a PS4 controller. About the best controller really you could use. Yo what up fam? And there you go. No, the sprint button isn't broken. I'm, I'm doing walking only. That's what's going on, my man. Unless you're just being, unless you're just trolling. But yes, I am doing walking only. So I'm going this way. Oh yeah, liquor's in this area, unfortunately. I'm going to grab the... I'm going to grab the shotgun. Because Mr. X ain't... It's not something I'm going to mess with too much. So, the beat scenarios, I'm like totally not... Like, I know, what I'm, I know where I'm going like 90% of the time, but it's kind of pain in the ass a little bit. Ooh, cool, an infinite rocket launcher. That would make life so much easier. But that would be just wasteful. That would just be wasteful to do that. 
I am, however, going to go down this way. I I want to go down below um, and grab the grab the stuff because there's no way I'm going to be able to walk around Mr. X. It's just not going to happen. So, that being said, but I'm excited to, to do this. I Claire's A was pretty decent, and now this one's pretty good. Also, all the zombies are localized over to that side there, and it's also where the unicorn metal is at, too. So once we're done doing that whole uh, rigmaroo, we'll go down over there and fuck them up. But we don't need to right now, because um, the doors are locked, and we need to get the card key. So we'll worry about that a little bit later. I'm over here to get the shotgun, which we will use against Mr. X, but not all of our shots. Just a couple of pot shots. It should prove to be a cool time. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and come back. Yeah. Yeah. It went pretty well. Um, at the by the end of the game, I was, I had a ton of ammo, a ton of healing, and it went pretty well. The fight against uh, Birkin was almost a cakewalk. I wasn't too worried about it. Now the B scenario, we have to fight. Both Mr. X, Mr. X, uh, Mr. X Evolved, and the last William Birkin. So that should be fun. But I'll have the Magnum and all that noise, so it'll, it'll be fine, and probably a ton of healing by the time yeah, I finish up, so. Anyways, now, go get that get that pesky valve handle so we can turn off the fire and flames so who do you think would win in a fight Mr. X or Nemesis I'd say Nemesis he has more evolved states and he's just a little bit quicker on the move, whereas, I don't know, Mr. X, he's slow. He doesn't move fast until he's actually evolved. In Nemesis, for sure. At least in Remake, we'll get to see Mr. X versus, uh, versus William Birkin. That'll be a sight to behold. I'm just grabbing a couple of these for now. Also, while I'm in here, I'm going to grab the additional shotgun shells that are inside the safe here. Because I'm not fucking around. I know what to expect. Mama didn't raise no fool. Mm. Fuck off. Okay. 2236. Yep. Additional shotgun shells. And I cool. We'll take a nap. Why not? He's not dead, but... Oh, wait, shit, there's handgun ammo. Get out of my way. I didn't even see that. I will take that, please. And there's also an additional herb behind the uh, behind the thing, but I will wait until later to get it. All right. I guess everybody's coming to party. Can I get around this guy? Okay, good. Yeah, he's just slow. And then there's the valve handle. If I'm quack enough, I can get over there to where he's at. All right, later, nerds. I'll leave that other green herb here just because. I think there's also a green herb at the end of the hallway up here too. I just, uh, just didn't grab it. I just know what to expect with Mr. X. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fire off two shotgun shells and then I'm going to hit him with handgun for the rest of the time. Well, actually, I have a lot of shotgun shells. Uh, I don't know, man. We'll just see how it plays out. We will just see. Oh. Didn't even see he was alive. Sorry, man. But, um... Yeah. Yeah, see, there's an herb right there. I think they put that there because they know that you might get fucked up against Mr. X, but... We'll see. We'll see how it plays out. 
Now, I'm like 90% sure in the wreckage of the helicopter is handgun ammo, but it might be shotgun shells. I'm not as well versed in um, the B scenarios as I am the A scenarios. Things are in different spots. It's a little bit harder. Um, but yeah, we'll see. What do we got? Yep, shotgun shells. God, it's almost enough shotgun shells just to try to... You know, I might just shotgun his ass. You know what? I'll use, like, I'll do three shotgun shells, and then I will do the rest in handgun. Yep, and this is where they drop off his big dumb ass. And then, unfortunately, after we walk in here, um, he's... Oh, yeah. Definitely a better fashion sense. He's got that nice, uh, trilby on. Oh, I am legit doing a walk-only playthrough. What up? Oh god. No, no, what up? Walk away. I am legitimately doing that. If you go uh, scroll further down, you'll see that I... Okay, good. He's caught on that whip. Now, I should probably just be able to barrage him with a handgun. But yeah, if you scroll further down, my man, you'll see all the other ones I've done. Walk it. Oh god. Oh, he's gonna hurt me. He's gonna hurt me. He's gonna hurt me. He's gonna hurt me. Ow. Please die. Ow. That's hurting me. Okay. That, that hurts. Alright. I'm not gonna heal just yet. Maybe just one more shotgun shell. There we go. Yes. Uh, sorry. I wasn't looking too fast. Uh, Sergeant Austin 88. I am doing a legitimate walking only run. Uh, yesterday I did uh, Claire's A scenario. And I've done uh, Claire's B scenario and Leon's A scenario. So... Uh, that being said, oh man, I mean, I'm just gonna have to use all these, aren't I? I probably should just use this one to begin with. Fuck it, whatever. Okay, now that that's done, let's uh venture on. Probably could have done that a little bit better. Normally, I, you know, if you can squeeze it right, you can run right by him. Um, yeah, you can definitely run by Mr. X. You might get lucky and squeeze by him, but nine times out of ten, he's just gonna sucker punch you. But, uh, yeah. There's that. Alright, I'm gonna go drop the valve handle off real quick at the item box, and then we can go... I remember when I was little, this used to scare the shit out of me. Where he just gets up. But he ain't shit. And in this uh, run, I will be upgrading lots of things. I'm gonna have to kill, have to kill all the liquors, unfortunately, because they are, are a pest to behold. You know, there's also I'm just collecting all the ink ribbons just because I know I'm gonna be saving a couple of times because I'm doing this segmented. Because I swear to God, if I got, if I did this single segment and I got like all the way to the end of the game and didn't die, I'd be really, really upset. So I'll keep this old key for now. Yep, I'm going to get the handgun parts, I'm going to get the shotgun parts as well. Um, yeah, it'll be fun. Also, uh, I left Leon the submachine gun in the weapon storage room, so that'll be fun. Oh, come on, you dick. I hate when they do that. When they spam through that shit. Wow, I got him. Oh, I didn't get them both. There we go. Yep, no more, okay, no more shotgun for a bit. A handgun only. Now, I do believe, um, if I'm right, there is a liquor that is going to burst out of here. Which I will try to walk by. And if I can't, I mean, I gotta go back this way later anyways, so. Luckily for us, there's some shotgun shells right here, if I remember correctly. Somewhere around here. Yep, right there. More shotgun shells for me, and in here there is more ink ribbons for that. So the items are definitely changed here. So now it's the blue key card you normally get from Arvin, so you can unlock the door. Now he has it. Yep. Let's see if he gets me. Let's see if I can coax him into a leap. Do it. Bitch. Do it again. Aw, oh, you bitch. Really? Three shots? It didn't, it didn't kill me, though. Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. I wish he would do all his leaps like that. Then it would make my life a little bit easier. Oh, well. 
It is what it is. Okay, so now that we have the blue key card, we can go down into the uh, main hall and grab stuff. Um, unfortunately, though, we have to go over two because the unicorn medal isn't in the star's office anymore. It's in the it's in the friggin' wall on the opposite side of the, the hallway outside over here. So I gotta get that. So there's gonna be a whole mob of zombies out there. But luckily, I'm, I'm if I'm lucky, I should be able to get a few headshots in. Um, but yeah, it should be good. Yep, and if you're also interested in uh, this Sergeant Austin, I play all types of challenges with Resident Evil. I've done one-handed runs, walking running runs, and oh yeah, I was just going to uh, ask if you wanted to follow. Um, thank you for following me, my man. I appreciate it. Every little bit helps. I'm on the road to 200 followers, that is. Alright, so. I don't want to waste all my shotgun shells on... Jesus, and single dudes. Okay, I apparently don't have anything here. <laughs> equipped. Sorry. Fucking die. If I can group them. Seriously? Yeah, oh, Jesus, God. Can I get around them? Oh, you dick. Okay, well, he's, I, I literally just want to get them all into a damn corner so I could just blow off at least two or three heads at once. Like if they're, But they all sort of, because I'm walking, if I ran over there really quick, I could probably knock them out, but no. See, that's what I wanted to do. Exactly what I wanted to do. So I basically took like a bite for no no damn reason. Also, handgun ammo is becoming exceedingly scarce in this. I don't know if I want to use a... And he's just right there hanging out. Fine. I'm sure I'll get more handgun uh, other places. Yep, thank you. Good game. Indeed. Alright, well now that this hallway is cleared, I need to be extra careful with my ammo situation. Also, because of um, this being the beast scenario, the zombies burst out of the stuff. Yeah, I just, um, it just came to me one day to do this. I was like, huh, what can I do in Resident Evil that hasn't been done before? And, and to my knowledge, I don't think anybody has ever done a, a walking only run of this. Or a one-handed run. I've done one-handed um, with one hand on the controller and my uh, camera on the controller so you can see me doing it. And that was rough. But yeah, I, it's a 20-year-old game. I like to um, spice it up and make sure everything... Oh, people have fun. Because that's my only goal here is to be entertaining and show you guys some cool stuff. So now that we have the unicorn medal, we can get the key, which for some reason in this uh, scenario only has one use, opposed to two in the uh, A scenarios. I'm trying to think, because I unlocked the doors. Oh, you know, I'm thinking of another scenario, because it unlocks the top door over there, but yeah, a literal walkthrough. Is it, I am, it's the opposite of a speedrun, because <laughs> I suck at speedruns. I mean, I've got some PBs that I've done, but nowhere... Oh, Jesus, I forgot about these guys. Yeah, zombies populate this friggin' room. Stay down. But, um... Yeah. Pain, pain in the patella. Okay, there's nothing I need. I don't know why I went there. So now I have a small key, so I believe there's handgun ammo in... Cool, I get, I get a quick shot. Can you please die, both of you? It's almost worth the god my god die, you fucking dick. I'm literally eating through my handgun ammo. No more. No more handgun ammo. We're done with that. Yeah, I can be I can get Leon A in a little over an hour. For, for at least for this version. 
So I have a small key. Might as well, what's it going to be? Okay, shotgun shells. That was worth it. Oh yeah, the rocket launcher is cool. Oh, you are... He's literally... I've literally put like 15 shots into him. And... Ugh. Pain in the ass. And I'm pretty sure zombies burst out of here. Or they're already here. Or they're going to be here soon. Or it's the liquor. I, I don't recall. I need to... Pull back just a little bit on the uh, on the liquor, or is he not in here? Maybe he's not in here. No, I don't think he is. I think Claire cleared him out. Okay, so I thought there was something extra. Not, I don't I, I don't need any more ink ribbons. I'm not going to be doing that many saves, but I know there's some extra handgun ammo somewhere over here. No, not the patrol report. That's not what I was looking for. I, somebody's got shotgun shells. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We're not shotgun shells, handgun bullets. Basically, this room is just for a first aid spray, which I will grab because who knows what is going to happen to me. I know in the Japanese version, they have it just chilling in that drawer right there. Uh, the... the Hang on bullets, that is. Anyways, I could have sworn there were handgun bullets somewhere. Now I'm on the hunt for them. I know where some are. I know where there's a whole mess of them, so. Especially in the star's office and in the dark room and all that noise. Now I'm also, like, sure that with the B scenario, yeah, there's uh, going to be stuff bursting out. What I mean by that is, um, zombies coming out of these, which I'm going to have to use the shotgun for. The B, the B scenario proves tough, because normally I could just run by all these guys. Yeah, the Desert Eagle, but the thing is, I can't even get the Desert Eagle because I grabbed something on the way to the police station, so I didn't trigger Brad, and I didn't get to do all that. Well, not even though you can't get the Desert Eagle. That's in Resident Evil 3. You get the Cold SS. Now, if I also remember correctly, there's shotgun shells or handgun bullets. One of the two in this corner over here. Hopefully, it's one or the other. I could have sworn. Yeah, right there. Yeah, handgun bullets. Fine with me, man. I just don't want to eat through all of them. Okay, let's get the one gem here. Beautiful. Okay. So thinking, 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 I need to go to the dark room and I need to drop off some things that I don't need right this second, but I'll need soon. Oh, you piece of shit. I didn't want to do that. I was literally just trying to edge forward to him and shoot him, but apparently he decided to just do a crazy... I don't even... Actually, I think this uh, this hall might be empty because it's... Uh... Oh, yeah, it's empty. It won't be later. I promise you that. No, do I have a single green herb on me? I do. All right. Fine. Um, I'm going to grab these, grab at least one of these, and put it into... You know, I'm going to grab them both and just put them in the item box for later when I get a red herb. When I go through the library, I know there's a red herb there... There's one in the sewer area. There's, you know, there's some. They're all over the damn place, but. Okay, so. Handgun bullets here. So for the time being, I'm going to drop off the red gem. The first aid spray. And one of these. That looks okay for now. Alright. Not going to save just yet. We've got a little bit more time. I should probably not have the shotgun out anymore and accidentally use it. No, I don't believe I double back now because now that I, for some reason, the room that I, the second room that you would use the uh, spade key on is already open. So I'm just gonna grab the second gem here. 
because even though the Brian Irons part is open over there, I don't ever go to it except for one two, or for one thing. Okay, good. I remember there's also handgun ammo back behind the statue too. If you click right here, yep, there it is. So all right, oh cool. I'm building it more, and then there's going to be two ammos, I believe, in the uh, in the Star's office as well, or just one, one or two. I always hated moving these for, um... I always hated moving these for speedruns, because if you just fuck it up just a little bit, it just makes it ten times worse. Okay. There are some fellows in here. Here. I got a nice deal for you guys. Two for one. There we go. Nice two for one deal. Give me that magnum, please. Thank you. Now, I should have not used... i got to figure out where the other old key is. Is there a first aid spray here? Nope, there's not. But there is another Easter egg. I told you that little uh, poster board that's right there. If you look at that picture in the middle, that's actually from uh, Back to the Future. And I say that each and every time, because why not? Nothing else. Just Chris's diary. I am on the hunt for more uh, hangables, though. So I know there's some behind the desk over here, where there should be. No? Oh yeah, right here. Now the Magnum will be excluded. You say that each and every time, and I'm like, whoa, Back to the Future, cool. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just say it to everybody, just because I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to. Well, fuck. I'm gonna have to. Try to think. Do I need to go back to the? Um, Cause I need to pick up a couple of things. No, I'll worry about it later, the bishop plug. No, I'm not worried about that. No, get off my fucking leg. Oh, you dick. Well, whatever, it's worth the bite to stomp you. Is that it? You know, we'll go back to the handgun now. We've got enough to... No, stop. Police. Stop. Shoot. No, it's, no, it's in all of them. Um, Sergeant Austin. They are all... That I just... This is, a, this is taking enough uh, time as it is. Oh yeah, he has to hop for rookies in uh, basketball outfits. He always, uh... That's his thing. I believe I see Claire in here. Which means there's no zombies, which means it's... Or Sherry. Oh yeah, and then we get a key. Precinct key. Yep, diamond key. We need that. More shoddy shells. Okay. Well, that's fine. I gotta think of where the, another small key is at because I can't get the handgun parts just yet. Leon! Leon! Claire, you made it! It looks like we're not gonna find your brother here after all. Yep, and this is where all the Zambos decide to be Zambos. So we're not even gonna worry about any of these plugs until we actually leave because I have like no I have no space right now so I need to go um, I need to go drop this shit off did I grab it um, yeah I have to go drop this shit off real quick I can't even grab that red herb but I will at least I know it's there if I really need it I'll double back luckily for me I got rid of everything over here but what we're going to do now is, unfortunately, I have to go all the way back through the hallway again. And this time it's loaded up with zombies just to get through another part of the room. So, we have to stop at the item box real quick on our way to there, which is fine. And we have to meet Mr. Marvin, 
I don't know if we uh, I don't know if we have to fight Marvin this one. I'm pretty sure he's dead already. I'm like 90% sure he's dead in the B scenarios. Well, whichever character in the A scenario kills him, that is. Alright, so we can drop off this gem, drop off the healing item, and we'll drop off the magnum. Sounds good. We are good. We're almost at a... Uh, time for saving, actually. Uh, it'll be fine for now. We'll wait. I'll wait until we get to the other room. Except for this room is filled with 100 zombies. Okay, good. I'd rather take that than have to waste a ton of ammo. Even though he's probably going to put me on caution. Now, if, this, if I could r do a speed run, I can coast through this. Alright, let's see if we can actually get around everybody. Okay, he's turboed, so probably not. Okay, well, that's fine with me. Okay, they're gonna... Oh god, they're fucking me up. Nope, nope, his arm. He got an arm off. Not good. Okay, at least I'm on yellow caution. Uh, man, if I would have been able to make it through that, that would have been pretty cool. Luckily, this is the only time we have to go through this hallway, so... Still fellows there. Okay. Well. Okay, he's dead. No, he's not. Now he is. Okay, he's way further down. Jesus. Yep, that was rough. That's okay. We we good. They just filled this entire corridor with so many zombies. Like that they are not fucking around. Now, I, however, am not fucking around because I know what's in this next hallway. 500 zombies. Actually, it's only a max of, I think, 6 zombies because uh, for this, because it's on the PlayStation, or was on the PlayStation, they could only have up to, like, 6 zombies uh, on the screen with Leon. If any more, it would degrade Leon's appearance. So it's only a max of 6 zombies per room. At least in Resident Evil 2, that is. Yo, what up, guys? Look at that. Triple combo, and I'll go back to the handgun. Beautiful. Fuck off, please. Por favor. Okay, you're dead. Alright. Yeah, I'm just going over this way to save, and then we'll continue on. Okay, I'm also going to grab a green herb because, yeah, it's always cool to get a triple headshot. So we're going to grab a single green herb, use that, grab a healing, or grab these mass roll of ink ribbons, and go ahead and have ourselves a saved game. Yep, get wrecked indeed. Oh cool, even more ink ribbons for me. I'll get it soon. Alright, we'll do, uh, so that already declares B scenario. Let's go right over it. Alrighty guys, well that is all the time I have for today's episode of Resident Evil 2 Leon's B scenario. In the next episode we're going to continue through the uh, police station, use the diamond key, probably hit Mr. X. And yeah, but if you want to catch me doing this live and you want to support me, links below are in the description. But yeah, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.